Does THD, total harmonic distortion, affect the noise floor? Now this is a pretty decent question and one I know that's confusing to a lot of people and so let's, let's jump into it. It comes to us from Evan in Salinas, Kansas? Salina? Can I don't know how you pronounce it there. It looks like Salinas, California to me, but it's probably Salina or something. Um, I appreciate everything you teach us about this crazy and passionate love affair we have with Chasing Perfect Sound. <laughs> thank you and thank you for watching. Uh, my question to you is this, if an amp has a great total harmonic distortion level like one of your fine amps do, does that mean the noise floor of the amp will be undetectable? I bought a headphone amp with a THD of .0004 and there's no hissing in the background, even when using my sensitive HD 800s, nothing. And I switch back to my vintage receiver with a THD of 0.5, half a percent, the hissing is noticeably there. Also, what are your thoughts on cassettes? Would PS Audio ever get on the wagon of making cassette decks? Which is interesting. Oh, if, if you're wondering what this is, this is a classic 250. Isn't this a beautiful piece? I love it. This is the only one we ever made with a, a meter on the front. And um, oh, I think, who was it? Robert Lee, I believe, was, was our sales manager at the time. And he had gone to Singapore and just said, oh, they're all dying for an amplifier. It's got to have meters on the front like Macintosh, right? Um, you know, and they've got those fancy meters and people just love it. And I just, I, I just hate those things. <clears throat> so I couldn't bring myself to have the bouncing meters on the front of our, our equipment. So I compromised with Robert and I said, all right, I'll give you a meter, but it's going it's, it, you know, to, it, it'll show something. I don't know what, what the heck we show on here. What is it? Uh, oh, voltage or some silliness. I don't know. It was a silly thing. But it is cool. It's cool. It, it was a really good amp, too. Uh, anyway, um, well, first off, uh, I'll give you the, technically, when we rate total harmonic distortion, it's rated as THD plus N. So it's the total amount of distortion plus the noise. So in a sense, when you have 0.0004% THD, if it's following the guidelines that we ascribe to, then yes, it will have lower hiss because the actual spec is THD plus N. So when you're looking at specs, look for that spec. If it just says THD, then maybe not. Not everybody follows those, those rules. And they're not rules, they're guidelines. And it's not always done that way. So some people say, yeah, I got real low THD, and then you think it's gonna have real low noise. Well, not necessarily. So you just need to pay attention to what the specifications are actually showing and go from there. The, the, the second point I wanted to make is that THD and noise are unrelated. So transient or, or, or total harmonic distortion, which is what THD stands for, is measured with a pure sine wave. So we put a pure sine wave into like this amplifier. We'll put a pure sine wave into the amplifier and then we'll look at the output and compare the output product, which is supposedly a larger copy of the input, and see what's changed. Anything that's changed would be in the form of added harmonics and those harmonics, because remember a square wave, a, a sine wave has no harmonics. The, the sine waves are just a pure tone. So let's say we put a thousand cycle tone in here. We put a pure tone in, we should get a pure tone out. And when you see 0.0004% THD, well, it's not pure. It really is pure, but I mean, technically speaking, there's, you know, 0.0004, 10 thousandths of a percent or whatever the hell that is, uh, of, of harmonic distortion. Nothing to do with noise. But when we measure it, we measure the two together, so they are unrelated, but in the way that we present the data, they are therefore related. So typically, 
If you see THD plus N, the lower that number is, the lower the noise will be as well as the actual distortion. Cassettes. I remembered. <laughs> My son Scott had this crazy idea. He said, cassettes are so cool, you know, like mixtapes. You can just hand it to somebody. It's not on a reel. It's, you know, they're so cool. They're analog. They're this thing, and you make mixtapes. Like when you want to uh, ask a girl out for a date or something, you go, here's a mixtape. And she listens to that and says, huh, I like this guy's taste in music. So Scott was all excited about it because cassettes tapes generally don't sound very good. And, and they, you know, they, they were never great. But today we could, we could probably make them great. And Scott wanted to actually make high-end cassettes you know, that were really fancy, like $40 cassettes or something, $50 cassettes that were well-built, strong, you know, and, and great sounding, but we never did anything about it. Would we consider it? Oh, sure. Uh, we're just crazy enough to consider anything. <laughs> but I'll leave that to Scott. All right, thank you for the question, and I'll uh, talk to you tomorrow. Okay, bye.